In OpenStage version 2, feature release 2, we've introduced a number of new functions and features that make your life easier. A lot of these are based on your own feedback and designed to make the user experience a more convenient one. Of the most notable features, we've introduced simplified conferencing, programmable fixed keys, and audible key clicks. Now let's take a look at how these work. I've been speaking with Bob for a while now, and we're realizing that we're going to have to pull Alice into the call to help answer a couple of technical questions. I can use the new conferencing capabilities of the OpenStage phone in order to make her a member of the call really quickly. I simply press the conference free programmable key that I've configured, and now I'm able to dial. Once Alice picks up the phone, I simply press the conference key one more time, and we're instantly brought into a three-way conference. It's now possible to assign new functionality to the fixed function keys on the top left of your keypad. Instead of the normal functions, it's now possible for those buttons to actually activate functions such as hold, transfer, conference, or repertory dialing, which can actually dial a complex string of numbers for things such as conference bridges. Talk to your IT administrator in order to see about configuring these options. It's now possible to configure your OpenStage phones so that every time you press a key, you hear a tone. To configure audible key clicks, simply press the Settings button. On User, press OK and scroll down to Phone and press OK. Scroll down once more until you get to Key Click and press OK to get into the menu. First, go to Volume and you can set the volume level of the audible key clicks. Off means no sound comes out, and you can go all the way from low to high. I've selected high here, and then you go down to keys. Press OK once more. On keys, you can select whether or not sounds come from all of the keys, or just the numeric keypad. I'm going to select all keys here and press OK. Scroll up to save and exit when you're done and press OK. Now, every time you press a key, you receive a tone.